This thing is so nice. But yeah, welcome to my new place. Welcome to my first ever apartment in Paraguay. Let me know down in the comments if you want to follow the journey of renovating an apartment in Cannes. And then I might do more videos about this. Welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> I think this one is gonna be some kind of a special one. Even though I every time said that it's gonna be a bit special, this time is gonna be really special because finally I start the renovation in my apartment. Yes. And here is a quick tour. I got an apartment a couple months ago, didn't really have time to plan anything and now finally starts today. But first of all, I wanted to say the biggest thanks to every single person that is new on the channel because the channel has been growing 10 or 15k subscribers within like a couple days because of the last video of the DJI FPV. <laughs> the biggest thanks and the biggest welcome to every single new uh, subscribers. You can't explain how good it feels when you put so much effort into a one video and it actually gets more views than you would ever dream of. So thank you so much. Another vlog, another start in this beautiful 68 Mustang, which still doesn't have a name. But you know what? Like I'm gonna stop trying to think about the best name ever because my mind just keeps on like thinking too much and it, it doesn't make sense anymore. Yun gave me this pretty cool French name a couple months ago already that he thought would be the perfect fit for this one, which is Colette. And I think Colette is a really cool French name. It's for like old ladies, usually. Even one of my first teacher back when I was probably like five or six years old or something, her name was Colette and she was already pretty old. So everyone, meet Colette. Colette, meet everyone. <laughs> people, I can't get tired of the fact that people just keep on stopping next to the car to like either wave thumbs up or whatever. Oh, by the way, if you want to thumbs up this video, Thank you so much. So first, let's go directly to the shop and get the stuff that we need. I'm gonna meet with one of the builder and we're gonna choose the paint, which is for sure gonna be white, and then also choose the floor, which is really important. So let's see what they have. Oh, it's cool, see there is already some stuff going on over here over there in here in there and not quite here yet so the plan is to start the renovation today i managed to find a couple of guys that are gonna help me with this whole project and we need to be done by um can we say before the end of the month before the end of march so I guess you must be wondering, yeah, I mean, it's possible. Depends what you actually do in the apartment. So for the apartment, we're gonna change the whole floor, repaint everything. That is still under debate. I'm still not sure if we're gonna change this and make it as a new bathroom because it still works and it's a lot more expensive and a lot more time to actually change that. But uh, we might at least cover all those tiles which are really old. Of course we're gonna get rid of those wardrobes and uh, I mean they're... Do I have to say that they look old like they're disgusting? Also one cool thing is that we're gonna get rid of those old school 
some shutters. We need to put a proper motor in with a remote. And the kitchen, the kitchen. The kitchen is one of the big debates as well. Uh, it's like when you start to change some stuff, it's almost better to just get rid of everything and start new. But I mean, it's, it still works. It's still working and I mean, all those are new as well. So what we're gonna do is change all the tiles. We're gonna keep this, keep this, and like repaint everything and also get rid of all that. So once all that is gone, the back is gonna be white and then it's gonna look so much nicer already. And this still works, still works. I'm sure you can just like lay like this and get tan. It's like a UV room. Yeah, this. so much better already. End of day one. Lots of things have happened so far. Actually, way more than I expected. So the cool thing with destroying everything is that you see the change so fast. The only thing is that you start to realize, eh, maybe I should also change this because if I, let me show you the example. Look at this first. You come here and there's space. There's no furniture or like ugly, super small table here. You get into the kitchen and you're like, oh, now I can finally use the kitchen properly. But when you start to look closely, you're like, eh, I want to change this sink because it has some stain inside and really looks old like it's, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it's, it really looks old. So, so the thing is that if you want to change the sink, then you have to find a sink that fits into this, this sink space because this bench is custom made. Then finding something new, exactly the same size of this one is gonna get tricky. And having some, something new, like a new sink like this on an old school beige bench, it does not look perfect. So it's like you want to put tiles like completely white in the back instead of having those little ugly ones. But if you change those, then it means that you kind of have to remove those to get access to the back so you can flatten the whole thing but then if you remove those why putting those back in and not just changing and then if you change this then it means that this will not be matching anymore so then you might change this so so you kind of must change everything and that's like the tricky part because i want to not spend too much money in this apartment because it's not useful for renting but at the same time it's like when you start doing something i don't like to just do a little bit let's just do everything so this is like the tricky part with this first day of like realizing okay you should change this and that and this i mean same for this it's like so many different tiles there is one here one inside there is one dark one and one then here so why not get rid of everything and just placing complete new tiles new shower and then new sink because if you change the tiles behind this will not match anymore so everything has to i guess i just need to be better at just spending money but this feels so useless but this bedroom finally feels so much bigger than it was like i mean we almost doubled the size of the bedroom just by removing the wardrobe here and also opening this area and finally the window can open <sighs> but yeah yeah this is everything we removed already plus this but those are mainly the doors that we just removed so it's more space to actually move in so yeah trash okay nice Allez, it's party end of day one next day it's gonna be starting to paint everything and this is gonna look nice because we're gonna see directly the difference so yeah i mean now back to the car and then come back tomorrow Welcome to day two. I'm back in the apartment and I know that so far they have been working on the paint and I think they have actually done a bit more than I expected. So I hope I still have some stuff to film. But yeah, this day is all about painting the whole place and making it look as new as possible. In terms of wow factor, I guess I'm gonna be blown away when I enter. Really, really looking forward to see. Okay. <sighs> this entrance. So, 
le moment of truth. Ok, attends, où est-ce que ça a le plus changé Ici ou ici Non, ici. Vas-y, je là. <rire> ok, moment of truth. Attention, pardon. Oh <rire> Can you recognize this place I cannot. Wow. Like, as I told you, the paint is making an instant change. It's insane. Oh, look at this. I forgot, like, this wall used to be grey. I kind of forgot about this, but yeah. No. No, it's completely white. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so things are moving so fast that I, I think I'm going to stop filming this one. Just put some time lapse on and then I can film the whole progress because I don't want to miss everything, but wow. Full on construction. I'm really happy. Really, really happy. It's finally happening. Jackie is the man. Jackie is the man. If you want things to go fast, call Jackie. So look how much nicer it is now when you get in. Then it's fully open to the living room. We also wanted to get rid of that whole like boxy type of wardrobe. The only thing is that there is the electricity stuff, so it means that we will have to do a small one to put all that behind and and then we also would be uh, would be losing the space to put like all your clothes and shoes when you get in the apartment so this is something we should actually keep but this so much nicer already. okay so i just learned that we actually can adapt something here to replace that old ugly bench so we could have something bright new or like wood style or whatever we'll keep all the storage space so now i'm gonna go with jackie and we're gonna check at the store if we can find a nice looking bench that would fit yeah <laughs> La voici. Non, ça va en plus. C'est vrai La face back. Ouais, comme je t'ai dit, le siège est cassé, du coup, le mieux c'est juste de monter à l'arrière. Ça, t'es bien Ok. Exactement. On a fait ça les aspirateurs. Les aspirateurs. Ça va être bien installé Tranquille. Allez. I'm gonna be Jackie's chauffeur because this seat is unfortunately a bit broken. It has like a pin that just got loose and cracked. So I just need to fix this another day. Typical car. Ah, la Meharry, ouais. All the Meharry. Perfect beach car. C'est la voiture pour aller à la plage. And we made it. Welcome to this panneau. Apparently, they're the one. Ah, man. It's so hard to decide. <laughs> Peut-être un peu sombre. Hein. Un peu trop de. The only one that I was kind of interested was the wood one, and it was uh, not available until like how many weeks? I don't even know. We didn't even know. Fish and tail. And since we're close by a tile shop, let's figure also out this solution for the toilet and the, and the back of the kitchen. And the one that I kind of realized could be good. 
set up like this one. Another fail mission with uh, the tiles not being available until two weeks, but we want to be done with everything way before. So we go back to the apartment. So, of course, when you get an apartment, everyone tells you there's always going to be a surprise and you're like, nah, nah, this is like safe. There's not going to be any surprise. But yes, there's always a surprise with what you actually don't know that happened before. So before they actually decided to close this part, which used to be a bathtub, and they decided to change it into a shower. And they also thought that it could be smart to close this little part, which has something in it, but it's something that you shouldn't close because it's the actual cut of the hose for the cold water. I don't know how we call this, but it's supposed to protect this one in case you have a leak or something you're supposed to cut that thing and apparently they decided to close it into a full <laughs> box and they even placed a tile on it which they completely like fixed and everything the only way now to close the water was to actually break this thing and then you can finally do it which is pretty crazy that's really really stupid so at least now we know and we managed to cut the cold water so we can replace the shower with this new one. But uh, we need to figure out a solution to make a little trap or something so people can access this. That's a bit shitty, I don't know how to do this. guest it's already the end of day two of the renovation of my apartment which is gonna be also the end of this vlog but don't worry this series about renovation is gonna continue with more episodes I will keep you posted on everything also on my Instagram so if you don't follow me yet please do so so I hope you guys still like this a bit less adventurous vlog as I saw my first apartment video tour the one that you can see up there in the this corner you guys actually really wanted to see some renovation stuff so don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss the other ones that it's coming soon until then take care and see you in the next one How much has happened so far? <laughs> no way, okay.